Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a review of an item from Bond Travel Gear. This is their uh, field journal and notebook. Uh, it's a notebook cover and notebook set. Uh, really interesting, an American brand, uh, all designed in, a, in the US and uh, made elsewhere. Uh, but really good quality, really well made, really interesting products. I've got a couple of these uh, uh, brand products to review. Uh, so I'm looking forward to showing you this one. Uh, so this is the uh, the travel journal. Uh, so uh, let's have a look at it in a bit more detail. So here we have uh, the Bond Travel Gear uh, field journal, and it's the uh, notebook sort of cover here. Uh, let's look at this uh, on its own first, and then some other details. So as you can see, it's got a, a Velcro patch uh, pocket there, sort of on the back, uh, and a handle on the side, the logo on the front there. Uh, and it's got a nice sort of solid zip uh, that runs all the way around the entire um, case or cover. Uh, on the inside, it's sort of a nice sort of strong material where you put the, the notebook there uh, and then a few sort of smaller pockets on the side and a mesh one there which has Velcro as well as a sort of large opening. So it's a really handy sort of cover for a notebook. So I've been using uh, this with my my standard uh, sort of um, bullet journal, Leuchtturm 1917 book, which uh, fits beautifully. Any A5 notebook should fit really comfortably uh, in here. Um, it comes with, this is the tag sort of that comes on it, Bond Travel Gear Go Beyond with their website, if you, you can check out there. Uh, I'll link that below as well, uh, with a little bit of sort of basic sort of information from the founder of the company there, like some feedback, so hopefully they'll get it here. So. What is makes this interesting uh, more than anything for me, really? Uh, like there are lots of notebook covers like this. Lots of brands have them. They all have slight little different variations. You know, different zips, different sort of pocket sort of setups, all those sorts of things. Um, what I like about this one is how strong it is. It's a really rugged material. This has been travelling with me for weeks, and there's virtually not a mark on it, really. It's been, you know, no scuffing or anything. All the uh, edges are really beautifully trimmed. The sewing quality is pretty pretty good. Um, it's made in Vietnam. There on the uh, on the tag, uh, you know, it's a really solid, nicely made, versatile notebook cover. Um, and they have their own brand of notebook, which makes this really interesting. It's designed obviously to fit in. The trims match almost, like they are a slightly different orange, but you can forgive that. Um, but Bond have done this really nice sort of setup uh, to enter probably into the sort of the bullet journal everyday carry uh, sort of market. Now, as I said earlier, they produce a lot of things like uh, tool rolls and different sort of pocket inserts and pouches and all those sorts of things uh, for carrying everyday carry gear and travel gear. Uh, so they do have a lot of really interesting stuff. But for me, as a fountain pen user, it was interesting in their notebook. So it's an A5 notebook with hardcover, dot grid, numbered pages, but what is really great about this notebook is the paper. This is 68 gram Tomo River paper. Now it's 296 pages, so you get a decent amount in the book, um, but it's Tomo River. So for us fountain pen users, this is the paper that we strive to get. And there are a couple of brands of books now that have come out with Tomo River in this format, but this is a really interesting one. Uh, as I said, it uses the 68 grams, so it's good. It's got its own sort of a dot marking and numbering and all of that sort of stuff. It's their own, in a way, it's their sort of their own creation. Now, uh, you know, it's, it's a, here it says designed in America, assembled in Taiwan. That's, you know, fine. It, it, to create, you know, the, it's not an American made product, which for me isn't an issue being in Australia. Um, and the, you know, the cover's made in Vietnam. So they're obviously sourcing out where to get these things done best and most affordable so that they can pass on these products to us. Now, um, a couple of things about, I'll just take the belly band uh, off now, now that you've seen it. Um, there we go, get rid of that. Uh, nice sort of embossed logo. Their logo I think is actually very cool. Gives a sense of what they're about. They're sort of about travel, they're about getting out there, all of that sort of thing. So that's a very nice. Um, and just Bond Travel Gear written on the back there. The elastic band, I'm not convinced about. It is a slightly sort of loose or soft elastic. Um, 
whether that will stand up, I don't know yet. I've not been using uh, this book, but what I did was I've gone, I've looked at it, I've done a couple of sort of writing tests and things like that. So the quality of the workmanship seems pretty good. It's not leather, it's sort of a faux leather, um, but with that sort of binding, you can see there how the, the, the binding folds back on itself. It means that for the most part, this book is going to sit flat no matter where you open it up. It's well stitched, the notebook is well made. And as I said, Tomo River paper, let's not forget that. Um, and in light of that, here we have the tests. So I've run this through a few basic tests using a few different inks and uh, things. So we've got like Limey Black and Diamond Sire, um, Deep Dark Blue from Diamond Colt Pens, Noodler's Base Staple, a couple of Rochizuku, and a range of different nibs from sort of more italic nibs through to broads and a couple of mediums and a fine. Then I've done a couple of swatches. This is a Diamond Majestic Blue. So you do get a lot of that sheen that that ink is well known for. And that is a Robert Oster Peppermint, which does have a certain amount of sheen, but doesn't come up particularly heavily uh, on this particular sample. What is interesting is that the, uh, I don't know how well that will be able to be picked up in this light, but the dots from the dot grid are ink resistant. So uh, even when you're writing, um, if we can catch one, say, say there, the ink will actually not stick to the uh, to the page at that point. I tried a Retro 51 Rollerball, a Lamy Ballpoint, Muji Gel Pen, a, a couple of Fine Liners Ballpoints, Palomino Blackwing, which rubbed out reasonably well, a Sharpie Marker, which I need to get a new one, he's dying, and a highlighter. And if we look over the page, where we did the sample, of course, a lot comes through, and Base Tape Blue eats through anything, it's always my tester, but everything else performs pretty well, Sharpie comes through a little bit. This paper is, fountain pen friendly. Uh, and it's interesting that a, sort of a, a travel or EDC company are interested in the fountain pen friendliness of their products. Um, and I, I really like that. Um, I've got another Bond travel gear item that I'm gonna be reviewing in a couple of weeks. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, it's sort of more um, another accessory. Um, so yeah, but why don't we do a quick writing sample in the book so you can see it happening uh, live. And uh, so this is the Bond Travel Gear A5 Notebook. The paper is 68 GSM Tomo River. And this pen is a Pelican M805 Medium with Iroshizuku. Everyone will know this. It is con pecky. So, as you can see with this paper, there's very little, well, there's never going to be feathering or anything like that. It, it is beautifully ink resistant to the point where uh, every ink sort of seems to perform relatively well. It might zap the colour out of some, um, but you know, see, there's nothing, there's show through certainly, um, but there's no bleed through or anything like that. So, this paper is super high quality. The product itself is super high quality. The book is well made. Um, I, I don't think there's going to be a problem with this book sort of standing the test of time. Um, the only thing I have an issue, slight issue with is the elastic. Um, oh, for the sake of the exercise, we'll see just how it fits here in the cover that it is designed uh, to be housed in. In fact, I bought this as a, as a set. And as you can see, uh, it goes in quite easily. Um, it covers up, zips up nice and easily. Um, doing it all around a tripod, so it's a little bit awkward, but it's a nice compact. It's going to this cover is going to protect your book beautifully. Um, it's handy to have, you know, sort of in your, be able to throw it into your backpack, and not worry about the book getting dam damaged or anything like that. Um, there's a reason why these are sold together, and I think that's um, really great. Now, okay, so. In terms of buying these items, they aren't the cheapest. So I bought this as a set, it was 39 American for the set, uh, which isn't bad. The book itself you can buy for 25 US. Um, so, it, you know, it's a pretty decent deal really, except for the fact that buying it in Australia is incredibly tricky. You have to buy it uh, through uh, a shipping service. Uh, because the, the items can't ship to Australia, even directly from Bond themselves, uh, which isn't a deal breaker necessarily, but it's something to be uh, aware of. It does add quite a lot to the expense. So without shipping, this setup was 39. 
and then bought with another couple of items it got up there in price when i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie it was pretty expensive um but you are getting decent products for the price i'm going to be using this um notebook cover still for my uh, bullet journal while i'm working through the leuchtturm and then i'll probably change over to the bond book because i actually think it's a really good quality book i like the fact that once again try more river paper uh, so you are getting a really good quality uh, notebook for the price and I think these are really lovely products. I think they're well made, they're well researched, they're well thought out. Um, my only issue with the uh, with the the notebook cover is when you put a pen in one of these sleeves, it does make uh, it does bulge out. There's no sort of specific sort of pen loop or pouch or anything, uh, so it's not an ideal you know carry in that respect. Uh, but those are things that you can sort of get around. They're not deal breakers by any stretch of the imagination. I think they're good. Check them out if these are things, the sorts of products you're interested in. If you like this sort of everyday carry travel gear, if you want stuff to protect your notebook, if you want to try a different sort of notebook, if you want to try Tom or River paper, this is a really lovely option. As I said, available in the US on Amazon uh, and a couple of other retailers as well, of course. Um, but check them out. See what they're like. See if there's something that you're interested in. I certainly was interested and I'm really glad I got my hands on these. As I said, I've been using this for a couple of weeks and absolutely love this cover. It's strong. It's durable. It's quite attractive. Um, it fits my needs. It's, it goes straight in my backpack. Travels around in my car. Absolutely fabulous. Uh, and something. And I like the fact that it can zip up. A lot of these other notebook covers don't zip up or they just have a clasp or something like that. This is full zip up. It's well protected. I can't speak highly enough about these products. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this video useful. Um, partic I particularly like this product because of this notebook. I think it's a really good quality uh, setup and a, a really interesting option in the A5 notebook um, arena. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at, uh, at the underscore offstage underscore me. Uh, you can also message me here on YouTube or through my email or anything like that. I'd love to hear from you. If you've got products you think I should be looking at or things that you think I should know about, get in touch with me. That's how I found out about these uh, particular products. Or if you've got things you'd like me to, uh, if you've got products you'd, you'd like to me to look at or you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your notebooks and your notebook covers and all of your everyday carry stuff, your pens, your writing, everything, and uh, I'll see you soon.